All right. We're back again. Some more Star Trek. Uh, this time, we're going to be covering Space Seed. Um, which uh, I immediately knew from the title, because it's the one with Khan. Um, so, get ready for that. But this episode... Uh, story by Carrie Wilbur and written by Gene L. Kuhn and Carrie Wilbur. Uh, I think Gene L. Kuhn was in uh, part of a lot of the, that production of uh, Star Trek. I don't know the name Carrie Wilbur. So th I'm just going to have a look at who they were or are. But generally, if we're looking at TOS, this is about 55 years ago, so most people are no longer with us. Uh, Wilbur. Okay, apparently someone who was thrown out of Catholic school for reading Voltaire instead of the prayer. Uh, he turned to journalism as a result and worked in numerous newspapers, including the Toronto Globe and the New York Times. Uh, wrote for a lot of TV. Bonanza, Lost in Space, Tarzan, The Tunnel Time. Don't know what the hell that is. Okay, first we're going to have to Google what the hell Tunnel Time is. Just going to have to look up that. Got to have a look at what the hell Tunnel Time is, because that sounds hilarious. Well, good. I don't know. Uh, it's a time travel sh adventure show. Uh, Starting 66 to 67. It's oh, so one season of 30 episodes. Which is an impressive amount. Um, who's in this show? Lee Merriweather. Ah, I definitely recognize that. Uh, Catwoman herself. Other than that, I don't recognize any other names. Um, but, uh, I guess this is a show I'm going to have to... I kind of want to check out at some point. Um, it's weird to know who who, know, who owns it when it's like... It was released by 20th Century Fox when then broadcast on NBC. Actually, that's not, uh, not, not as well hard as uh, I thought it was because then I'm realizing, oh, that's just all Disney now. Um, so Disney own it, basically. Uh, a pilot for a new series was produced in 2002, but was not actually to series. Okay, firstly, I'm going to just Google if I can buy the tunnel time. And uh, we're on a tangent here, but fuck it. I'm a, I, I love a good tangent. I can't I can't say no to a good tangent. Um, okay, well, I can buy the Blu-ray. Um, do I buy the Blu-ray? Do I buy the Blu-ray? Great by Erwin Allen. Where's that? Does that that's name looks familiar, but I don't know. Uh, it was a film producer known for science fiction. He was just for productions with the Poseidon Adventure and the Towering Inferno. He also created and produced popular science fiction Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, Lost in Space, The Tunnel Time, and The Land of the Giants. Holy fuck, that's a lot of good. A lot of well known ones. Especially, yeah, Lost in Space. Which has seen like a million different reboots. I can attempt to work at the tunnel time. The time tunnel. That's the one. Not, not one. I'm rambling. Don't worry about it. Um, Get ready to keep butt. Oh, hello. Well, thank you for the follow. Okie okay, Mac 815. Um, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm on a tangent. I'm going to look at that show later. But uh, let's have a look at this uh, episode of uh, Star Trek aired on the 16th of the February, uh, 1967. So let's have a look at what happened on that day. Um, okay. We've got someone was in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Again, football. Uh, football, but baseball, so I have no idea. British drum, uh, I don't know. I don't know who this is. 
at least it's something that's not sports. Um, more sports. The brother of Wayne Gretzky. It's like, okay. Why is famous weddings? Vidal, hairdresser from businessman Vidal Sassoon weds Beverly Adams. He was 39 and she was 21. Wow. That's a bit of a difference. Um, Lester Smiley Burnett, American country music producer, performer, singer, songwriter. Dies of leukemia at age 55. Holy shit. I don't, I don't recognize the name. This is probably a little bit before my time. And whoa, we've got new songs for both the US and the UK. I don't recognize them, but again, it's, it's before my time, so it's the 60s. So we've got Kind of a Drag by the Buckinghams, who I did look up earlier because I just saw that name and I was like, is that named after the... No, it's not named after the um, after the palace. And in the UK, we've got This Is My Song by Petulia Clark. I got no frame of reference to them. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to decide later on if I want to buy the tunnel time. Because why not? And uh, let's start watching Space Siege, shall we? Uh, let's cue this up. There you go. There we go. Episode. So this episode is 50 minutes and 31 seconds. So shall we get started in three, two, one, a boom. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, whatever, come and do direct this episode. I'll do that in the intro. Since the intro is always. Oh, it's fine. It's Mark Daniels who's who directed like a fuck ton of episodes. Just a fuck ton. We'll just say that. Is it an Earth ship? No one knows. It's definitely not an Earth ship. Uh, it's all good. It's it's a Sunday. I'm not working. Yay! I, I, I don't know you. I'm currently streaming at the moment, so maybe later? <gasps> it's Khan's ship! Ah, the 1990s, yes. Hmm. Yeah, sensor region. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, that's clearly um I think it's two separate elements. I think. Try to look at the ships. Doom Doom Yeah, this is the first episode of Khan. Well the first and only episode of Khan. Man. Well well this is playing. The fuck are they doing in Star Trek Picard? Like, with Project Khan. You're like, well, Khan left the planet in, like, the 90s. Or maybe the earliest, like, the noughties. What are you doing, Star Trek Picard? What are you doing? It's just, it's just, just what, what are you doing? <laughs> that's what all I gotta say about Star Trek we had like Discovery uh, there's problems with it but there's uh, stuff I like okay no it's definitely not because they're moving this is definitely two ships together because 
there's a camera movement of them in 3D space, which you, in this, considering how shaky sometimes the ship is in this, uh, nah, that, that wouldn't be, wouldn't be possible if they're separate elements. Yeah, the, sometimes the Enterprise is so shaky by itself. Hey, McCoy's here. Mm. <sighs> the SS Bunley Bay. Um, last so called World War. Mm. <laughs> and no, I, I... Ah, yes, the uh, Earth scientist who specializes in 20th century. Well, I mean, we're seeing a picture of a Roman, so I guess he's just... Unfortunately, she doesn't... The actor who uh, didn't get to be in the movie, because I think she got into a car accident? I think. Let me check before I, before I confirm that. Yeah. Mala. Ah, multiple sclerosis. Yeah, it's confined to using a cane and crutches. And then finally a wheelchair. Yeah, she, she was a f fine to walk around, but she was just running out. So she could have technically done it. According to Bennett, which kept who kept what kept kept McGavis from appearing. This is what kept yeah her appearing in it, but she was in different strokes. Hmm. Huh. Mm. Uh oh. Stop falling in love with this man. My microphone seems to be picking up something and I don't like it. <sighs> uh. 
I don't know. I'll have to, I'll, uh, I'll run it through some stuff later to cut any background noise. I'm not sure. There we go. There's something in this room that's making a lot of noise. Yeah. I'll have to figure it out later. It's a bit annoying. Hopefully, hopefully the recording sounds alright. We'll figure it out later. But there's Khan in all his naked netting glory. How long? How long is my dong? What? Nothing. Oh. Stop falling in love. We know he's pretty and old, but stop it. God damn it. Because I did, it's hilarious. Because I had my heater on for like the entire last episode, which didn't get picked up. And now all of a sudden, I've got some kind of background noise. So whatever it is, it's annoying me. But we'll have to look at it later. Okay, it must must be saying your mind. Maybe it's my squeaky ass here, I don't know. Hmm. Yes, which we got totally got past, except Mm. That's fair. I got fuck all. Yes, you are. I think that's the problem with like Spock is he's I'm not capable of that emotion, which establishes that he's cannot experience that emotion, but he can. He's repressing it. So saying I'm not capable of that emotion, you are capable of it because you're part human. You're also Vulcan. Who have emotions? I think that's the problem with the writing, is I'm not capable. You, no, you are. You quite clearly are. Damn sexy Khan with his chest exposed. Damn him sitting in his sexiness.
Damn. I'm your lady, Bona. Calm your lady, Bona. Basically, the entirety of this conversation. Nope, cancel back. Hmm. He's fine. Ah, weapons. I recognize these. Yoink. Hello. <laughs> Fucking love McCoy's balls to this. <laughs> Choke me or cut my throat. Fucking do it, you bitch. <laughs> Honestly, McCoy is just like fucking the nerve, just Yes. Two centuries. All right. Hey, Captain, we've got someone who wants to chat to you. Hello. Anything you want to say? Mm hmm. Not really.
Yes. Chan. Mm. Yes, I can learn all about your people. Yes, I'm quite nice aren't like that, aren't I? Yeah, that's what it is. Do you remember? Oh, damn. Which nations? Hmm, interesting. That's fair. When exactly tell everyone, it's like, ah, hey, yeah, some people survived the war. Oh my. Yeah, of course they were made in the manuals. Just here's pretty ladies in the manuals. Uh aight. Hey lady, why'd you not wear your hair like I like your hair? Why are you wearing your hair like that? Why don't you wear your hair like I like you to wear your hair? That's not weird. Yes. Oh. Oh, my.
I'm not going to say anything. I keep saying everything about coming in gaming and, you know. Ooh. Put on a nice bread. Mmm. Like, extremely. Yes, he was very attractive. What? I mean, mm, shit. I didn't say that. You said that. Don't worry about it. You look very pretty. I will stroke your face. We barely know each other, but I will stroke your face. Don't worry about it. Hello. Is this me? Mm. Yes, thank you. Uh, that sounds a little rapey, could you not? Please, please, no. It's just any, any man says, men, take what they want. Mm. Could we not? Yes. Ooh. Mm-hmm. The only person we'd like missing here is Sulu. Is Sulu not in this episode? I'm really excited you'd have someone on the bridge. Which just seems like, yeah. Why are you a bitch? What? Nothing. Hmm. Oh, originally it was supposed to have left uh, for 2096, which would probably be better, because they would just stop a lot of the uh, confusion. What is he drinking? He's drinking some blue. I'm just reading up about um random random parts. Yeah, Sulu doesn't appear in this. 
and also they mentioned that Chekhov doesn't even know he's mentioned in uh, Wrath of Khan. Mm. Wait, although only one hallway of Botany Bay has seen detail, the de design team took time to an effort to build the beginning of several other corridors with their own life support canvases, despite only being seen for a few seconds. Ah, Barney Bay was designed by Matt Jeffries. Ah, nice. Before he came up with the Enterprise. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's, there's a deleted scene on this where she talks to someone else. I kind of, I kind of like a little bit of the. I like Khan being like a bit, almost like a. A cult leader, and to me, yeah, he's very culty as like a leader. Is it? That's the working. Okay, cool. That's better. Whew. Come. Yeah. They talk about being World War Three, even though like World War Three is supposed to be in like this in the middle of the twenty first century. Mm. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm getting distracted by reading an entirety of Memory Alpha. I was, I was not just reading Memory Alpha while I'm watching this. What are we gonna do, this Khan fellow? He's so angry. A power! I'm going to take over your ship. I mean, what shit? Mm. Yes. Who are you? No, oh, no. Ooh. Ooh. 
He's calling you a bitch. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. Okay, let's put this down. Okay, I, I forgot to take the bottle opener. Damn, we're just opening his door with pure fulls of will. And whoa! That guy did a fucking flip and a half. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> just the look of just, the fuck do you think you're doing? Dun, 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 dun. We're going to take over the world, and the universe, and everything. But first, a starship. I'm going to steal me a starship. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> Scotty can't come to the phone right now. Uh oh. There shouldn't Kirk at this point just go. You know what would be cooler? Khan to do the start date. That would have been cool, just having Khan. Shouldn't Kirk a step like start stealth destruct sequence? And he down. And he's dead. Yep, he's gone. Yes, what about him? Mm hmm.
Ja. I am just outright backhanding of horror. You son of a bitch. Uh-oh. That ain't good. Hello, I'm Kirk. I'm still in here. Someone let me out. Wouldn't he, like, pop? Mm, nah, I'm not joining you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm not watching. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate. Is he? <laughs> All right. Guess I'm going to die then. Spock out. I'm going to die. All right. He fell over. Man, that's a very elaborate piece of set that they made for this, like, one. I guess it's like season one where they have money. Season one, they have money. After that, like, it, it slowly goes downhill from what I remember. Uh, season two has a lot more earth like places. Yeah. Ten, 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 ten. No. Nope. Nope.
<laughs> just like Sky just punches a guy and runs off. I'm out. Scotty out. Uh oh. Do engineering. Mm. <laughs> I'm a break your toy. I done broke it. We go do now, Kirk. I done broke your toy. Oh, hello. That is not Shatner. Not Shatner. That is. Yeah, not M Makaro Montabon. And there they are, they're back in. And now they're not. Because I definitely think the stun actor for Khan is like uh, a lot smaller than him. Wow, that is. We get some really clear shots. I mean, it's obviously the why they go wide. But is not wide enough. I'm gonna hit you with this tube. It looks like it dispenses like soap. Yeah, it looks like the bit that just like squeezes down and dispenses soap, but like a really big scale. Yeah, everything's back to normal. Uh, poor MacGyver's. Ding ding, ding ding. Ding ding. The fact that they don't put them in like any kind of handcuffs is weird. And I don't think they really use handcuffs a lot in Star Trek. Milton? Who? I don't. Please explain. John Milton, oh, an intellectual served as a civil servant for the uh, Commonwealth of England. Uh, wrote at a time of religious flux and political upheaval, known for Paradise Lost. Hmm. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, except we wouldn't be there for a hundred years. Mm. Why can't I not easily find a copy of it? Weird. And then... It's like, why can't I just not find a copy of it? It's clearly out of copyright, because it was in from the... The seventeenth century. It's just like, what? How can I not? Ah. Oh, that's that is a long ass. Ooh, there's a long ass poem. Oh, mama. I cannot read that because that is a lot of words that I don't know. It's very ye old English, which makes sense since it's from uh, 400 years ago. Oh, bless them. But yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Shut up. Shut up, you. You over there, Steve. Shut up. Uh, all right, we're going to take another little quick break. Um, ready for the next episode, which is a taste of Armageddon. So, all right, we'll be right back. For now, I say live long and prosper. Double time. Yeah.